Yo yo yo, what is going on guys? Let's continue where we left off just now from what we was it, so let's do it. That man's anger, his rage. It had a familiar sting that I I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd, without sense or reason, paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever, you always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It's a long journey and I am not well. Eivor, on our journey here, I had much time to think on the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I cannot return to England with you. That is not my home. Not now. What are you saying? I know about you and Radvi. My love is tryst in spite of me. I should challenge you for such a betrayal. But I'm... I understand. Is that all? And when I returned to the settlement, your pattern of disobedience continued. I made a judgment, and you openly defied me. I believed you were wrong then. I still do. And my grievances go back further still. You stole my father's riches. In my haste to leave, I should have stopped you then. A true leader would have stopped that thought before it took form. You were selfish. This is not a decision I make lightly, Eivor. You are family. You were my drinker. But here, our paths must diverge. Understand your anger. I would be too if I had suffered these insults. But there is no need to abandon what you have worked so hard to achieve. Return with me. Show me how best to lead. England is too infected with ugly memories. I will stay here, in the land that gave me life and strength. Just as the prophecy warned me. Prophecy? Years ago, before we left England, I had a vision, a prophecy that I would... that foretold the course of my life up to this moment. You never told me this. And has your prophecy come to pass? I... I do not know. I think it has, but not because I chased it. Well, I hope for your sake that you grow well into the role you've earned today. That hope is all I have left. I will try. I promise. Bex, I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. 
you know, a vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. Thanks for keeping it steady in there. You surf this thing better than anyone I know. That's not true, is it? Well, nearly. Be careful out there. And come back in one piece. Thanks, Bex. I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawaho en nakwat, unsme borturwan di kwarde, ul solas fras hunakudi de, unzum huras des der he has, zohumsi. Already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's going to go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. Well, when all this is over, we can get a startup going, you know? Get a little work by a Shit, 
You're breaking up, Sean. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. What are you back calling me when you're topside? I'll be right back. Here we go. and the ice melted. down. anyone want to end their life here, unless they felt it was just beginning. It's just like the Empress. It's just like the Empress. for? Will I know it when I see it? Something feels off. What is this? Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? 
So here we went, in fealty to our master. Who's your master? Is he here? They flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lattice that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together for another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15 trillion, 55 million, 3,276 to one. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, Another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? 
Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck. All right. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave, so be it. I owe this to the people I, I hurt. The people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. Sean, Bex, I, I had a choice, and I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. You might wonder if I am. I don't know how to answer that, but I'm not afraid, and I'm not alone. We have work to do, work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say, but we'll finish it. What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and, and too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world you still have. And take care of 
You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus, we have to find her. You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you? You left her there. This, this is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishim. Ah, and do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. shouldn't take long to kick in, a few days at most. So here we go.
Steady, Abel. You've returned. Is is Sigurd with you? No, not for now, Toby. Eivor, is that you? It is. Is Sigurd not with you? He stayed behind to begin anew. Stand up. What? Stand. This seat is yours. It suits you. Eivor's returned! Inside of the hearth, come! Your secret is no longer safe. Eivor? Ralvi? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl's Kuna has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No, no, no. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings On ocean steep my words gain wings Odin's mead I form will bring For noble deeds thine honor Fight for we who fall. Ah. 
Okay guys, I guess the game is done. It's technically we got the bad ending, but uh, what I see from it is not really much of a difference. It's almost the same thing. It's just cigarettes there, so the, that's the good ending. So you know, thank you guys for following me through the whole series of this Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I really enjoyed the whole entire series, and it was an amazing one. And you know. Uh, I'll be releasing more now. I'll be going through Black Ops Cold War, and I hope to finish it before Cyberpunk comes out. And thank you so much again for for everything. So I'll see you all in the next one to come.